Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah Smile to Jannah <laughs> Hijab, this is a favorite topic of the media You wouldn't try! You wouldn't try! Yeah, I wasn't talking... I, I meant the other hijab But this inspiring and empowering story actually deserves to be shared by the media and the feminists as well frankly but it's sadly and conveniently being underplayed and barely mentioned at all. I know what you guys are thinking, maybe there's more important things that the media has to cover. Well, here's one such story of a man's love affair with the dolphin. Oh! Oh! oh what the oh, 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 oh. So what happened? Well, a Muslim lady was stopped under Schedule 7. She was randomly questioned, which is about as random as finding the letter A in a dictionary. So after they brought her in for some questioning and interrogation, they asked for her identification, which she obliged and she gave. But that wasn't enough for them. You see, they wanted to poke and prod and embarrass her further. So what they asked her to do was to remove her hijab. You're, you're, watching, dirty guy. you're, you're somebody you're that must dirty. be watching you're pornography. Dirty. For those of you guys that don't know, Muslim women aren't allowed to remove the hijab unless it's in front of certain family members. Let me give you an example that you guys can relate with. Yeah, Think of them as the Mandalorian. It's against their creed to remove their helmet. I need to remove your helmet if I am to save you. Try it and I'll kill you. It is forbidden. No living thing has seen me without my helmet since I swore the creed. So I guess she's like the war Mandalorian. Huh? See what I did there, yeah? <laughs> Not just a pretty face, my friend. Another example is the famous artist Sia who doesn't like showing her face. What makes this the right decision for you to turn your back away from the camera? Well, I don't want to be famous or recognizable. In case you're wondering why people aren't making a big deal with her, it's because she's not a Muslim. But we don't know what she was guilty of. Maybe there was a reason why the police asked her to do that. She should just be following the law. I mean, as Muslims, we follow the law of the land, mate. What are you doing? Is she even a Muslim? All right, calm down. There we go. Let's hear what the police have got to say for themselves. I have no idea of the positioning of your ears. You might not even have any ears. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Whilst being in a conversation where the other person is listening and responding to you, for an average person, that's enough of an evidence that the other person has ears. But not for the Great British Police. No, 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 no. Apparently, there's another part of the body which helps us hear things. This is most likely going to be the biggest breakthrough of the century where no other scientist or doctor has told us of another part of our body that can hear stuff. Nobel Prize is waiting for the Metropolitan Police. And you know what? I think I've unearthed some footage that the police requires as proof that a person has ears. Our taxpayers' money are going to these rightful people and educating them so they can catch these airless bandits that are running ragged. When the police is done, they need to get back to going to the park and making sure people aren't sunbathing during the coronavirus lockdown. It's a lockdown. You don't just come in sunbathe. Can you please just leave? And they go on to say, you might end up being arrested because you wouldn't let us take a photograph of your hair. Imagine going to prison, yeah? Now, what are you here for, mate? Yeah, I'll stab someone in the eye. What about you? Yeah, I'll rob the Bank of England. 
What about you? I I didn't let the police take uh, a a picture of my hair. You animal! <laughs> you fiend! Lock her up in maximum security, mate. There's another thing that they said. We can take photographs that we need by force. I mean how on earth would that even have happened? She had to take off her hijab because naturally she was by herself but when she left, boy, she went to work and by the end she managed to sue him successfully. And you know we're living in a time where Muslims think that discrimination against themselves is normal. In fact sometimes you know what we do, we try justify it to ourselves by saying Oh you know what, it's meant to be. There's a very important principle in the religion which is do your best then Allah will do the rest. You have to do something yourself in order for the help of Allah to descend. And you know what, she's a hero, a hero of resolve, of empowerment, of religiosity, and strength. May Allah bless her and make and raise many more like her. Ameen. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.